On the simulator, you're actually using the real controller, whether it be a Mavic Air or whatever drone you've got. This is really useful because you can get to feel the how sensitive the sticks are. And when you're flying, you're trying to fly smoothly. It's not bang, bang, left, bash, push, push. It's not hard. You're trying to be smooth with your pushing the sticks in any direction. However, when you're looking at the directions, we're going to try and fly in the clock face and we're going to look at four direct only four directions 12 o'clock six o'clock nine o'clock three o'clock and that's for both sticks so 12 o'clock six o'clock nine o'clock three o'clock and we have two sticks here there's a left stick and a right stick they're set up and they're pretty common across all drones this is how they normally are set up We've got left stick right stick the stick itself when you're pushing the forward, you can push it all the way. They are omnidirectional, so you can pull it in all directions, whatever you, but we're trying to look at 12 o'clock, six o'clock, nine o'clock, and three o'clock. Okay, first things first, this is the first screen. So you can see the Mavic Air sitting on the ground. We're going to arm the motors. We're gonna set the motors running. To do that, we pull both sticks down to six o'clock and push them in. And that Take arms off. the motors. As soon as that's ru they're running, let them go. Now to stop the motors, what we're going to do is we're going to pull the left stick down to six o'clock to there. And that stops the motors, kills the motors. And that's what happens outside. You're actually simulating exactly how you'd fly outside. Again, down and in to arm the Take motors. Off. And now running. Now to take off, what we're going to do is use the left stick and we're going to push the left stick up to 12 o'clock. Now the left stick pushing it up to 12 o'clock, you'll see that the drone will go up and takes the off. Home point it pushes up and Please I'm going to push it up it to about five meters and you'll see the height there, just gone over five meters, gone to 5.7 meters. Let's pull the drone down a bit so we can see the horizon around about five meters. And so we've took off. The drone has gone straight up, we've gone to 12 o'clock. Now to land the drone in the same spot, we're going to pull the stick, left stick down to 6 o'clock. So let's pull that down. Now it'll stop just before because the sensor's underneath it. It'll stop Landing. for a short period of time, hold it down and then push past that and then hold it down and the motors will stop. That's landing the drone. You will get this position where on the smaller drones it will stop about a metre above the ground and then you push past that and it will land. That's with the VPS that we talked about earlier, the sensors underneath. That was your first takeoff and landing. Let's look at this in a bit more detail now. We're going to arm the motors again, down and in. Motors Take are running. Off. Let's push the drone up to around about four meters. The home so point left has stick been updated. Please check it on the map. Go to about a height of about four meters. That means you can see the horizon. You can see where the drone is. Looking at the back of the Mavic, set the drone up so when you take off outside, the, the actual battery is at the back of the drone and the camera is at the front. So it's facing away from you. Now turn the drone to the left or turn it to the right. And the way you do that is look at the left stick here as your steering wheel like a, a steering wheel on a car. If I want to turn the drone to the left, I pull the stick to the left and I pull it to nine o'clock. Pull that there and you'll see the drone will turn. If I hold it there, it just keeps going round and round. Now if I stop now, we've turned about just over 180 degrees, so I go back the other way, the drone will go back. This is not a hard push, it's just a soft push. You're pushing that drone across you're turning get used to pulling the left stick to nine o'clock and to three o'clock but doing it smoothly and gently it's not a hard crashing exercise you're just moving it gently now as you see it moving the drone we're back at the drone facing away from us you will see on the screen at the bottom left a compass and you'll see that that compass there's a red pointer on it and that pointer is heading 
you can rely you can't rely on this to be exact because it it depends on which way you're facing this is a compass heading but what you can use this for is to turn the drone so if you're trying to turn the drone 90 degrees you can see it turning 90 degrees now but you can also see it turning to about 90 degrees on the compass at the bottom left let's turn the drone back and it's facing away from us again now it's facing down the road now let's look at the right stick now. Now look at the right stick here as your accelerator pedal on a car. Only look at 12 and 6 at the moment. If I push the right stick forward, it goes, the drone goes forward. Push it harder, it goes faster. But we're only trying to be smooth and, and slow at the moment. Pull it back towards us and it comes back. Push it away to 12 o'clock and it goes down the road pull it back at six o'clock and it comes back that's the first simple exercise if you come too far back the drone will go over the top of you and you'll be able to see the camera if that happens just push it back and go back over the top so it's literally flying over your shoulder there we go and the final movement with the right stick at nine and three o'clock allows you to let the drone pitch to the right and pitch to the left it's not a hard pitch it's just a pull to the right and to the left now we call that a nudge and we don't use that only when we're talking trying to uh, uh, judge the landing in the beginner mode we take that out of your flying if you're already experiencing flying a dji drone and you're using this that's a more advanced technique but if you take this out of your flying it will simplify how you fly. It will give you a lot more confidence and you will not get confused. We do not use the nine o'clock and the three o'clock on the right stick in beginner mode. Only, only when we're trying to, if I lower the drone now, only when we're trying to maybe negotiate and just line it up for landing. Take that out of your flying. It's only forward and back with the right stick. That ends the first lesson, so let's just land the drone. Pulling the left stick down to the bottom to, landing. to six o'clock, holds a little while and then it's landing. Okay, and let's move on to the next exercise. Next exercise is called flying a box. Let's arm the motors. Take off. Let's push the drone up to the home point has been updated. Meters. Please check it on the map. What we're going to do is fly a simple box, and that means we're going to go fly forward with the right stick, turn the drone 90 degrees, and fly forward with the right stick again, and fly a complete box. Let's start, and we'll try and fly out about somewhere around about five or six meters, somewhere around about there. We're going to turn left this time, so we're going to pull the left stick to nine o'clock. Just turning it 90 degrees, you can see it by eye, you can see the drones are aiming away there. Let's push the right stick forward gently, pushes the drone forward here. And then we just come off and stop. If you take your hands off, as I said earlier, off the sticks, the drone should just hover there. So that's the default, do nothing, take your hands off. Now we're going to go the same way again to nine o'clock, turn the drone bit far that was so let's push it back a touch let's push the right stick forward and it's going to come back towards us to around about there we're now going to go left again with the left stick to nine o'clock push the right stick forward to 12 o'clock and we come back over where we started Let's go again, left with the left stick, pushes the drone back, and that's completed the box. Let's fly the box the other way that this time. We'll fly it a little bit quicker. The right stick goes forward to 12 o'clock, stops. The left stick goes right to 3 o'clock, 90 degrees. Flies right stick goes forward to 12 o'clock, and then we stop. We go right with the left stick, 
coming around. There we go. Then fly forward with the right stick. Turn again. And fly forward back to the road. And turn again with the left stick and we're back where we started. That is a simple flying the box to the left and to the right. If you enjoyed this video then subscribe to the channel or watch the next video in the playlist or the new videos that we've just recently downloaded. Bye for now.